So we're standing in the middle of the uh, wetland conservation easement that's placed for protection over the created wetland here. Historically, Presque Isle, this portion of Presque Isle was what's known as a tombolo, um, connected to the land by a narrow uh, spit of sand. This is the narrow spit of sand that connects it to the mainland. Oh. And then you have, you know, a wetland, typically coastal marsh behind it. So this is a natural wetland here. This is never filled in. Or if it was, it was only marginally filled in. So. Um, it has the hydrology, the plants, um, the soils that are the, you know, the hallmarks of a natural wetland. So this is one of the wetland cells that was created. Um, this was all infilled with dirt and was inhabited mostly by non-native species. And they removed uh, up to a foot to a foot and a half of material approximately to get down to the uh, natural groundwater elevation. When you make a mitigation site, you want to rough up the site. So you get different microtopography that allows different types of uh, wetland species to grow. And this is going to and eventually going to be a forested wetland. So you have well, higher places for the trees to be able to take root. And there's one, there's one other site here. I'll, we'll go look at the other cell. This is one that was created for the uh, McClellan Avenue extension. It was built in 2012. And this is more of an emergent wetland type. Um, this is going to have very little tree and shrub development in it. It's the water, there's, there's a lot of open water in here and it's deeper. You know, these, these little islands that are basically built are where most of the vegetation is growing and you've got the deeper water in between. So it's a different kind of wetland habitat. And this is an original survey from the 1840s that shows basically a large area of wetland that's now almost probably 90% filled other than what's been restored in this area right here. This is some of the material that they took out in 2012 when they did the restoration. They found construction debris, concrete, metal. Now the city is utilizing it to uh, meet permit requirements for uh, transportation infrastructure projects as well as uh, um, a place that's beneficial to restore habitat for wildlife. Um, and it's associated with Lake Superior on both sides, so it's important coastal habitat.